Hi everybody, I'm Cook and welcome back to Sbam on the Range. Today, for the Black Powder Rifle Mad Minute Challenge, we'll be trying a M71 Mauser Infantry Rifle. We assembled, uh, for the maximum historical accuracy, uh, some uh, historical style ammunition loaded with a pepper patched bullet and uh, 75 grains of uh, black powder. Let's see how it will perform. Sono pronto. Via! So, hi Cook, here we are once again. Hi Top, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, uh, now Mars is 71. Now, I was curious yeah. that you said last time, I want to try and beat Rob. And you so nearly did. <laughs> <laughs> like that <laughs> yeah i mean um uh, it was a fantastic run and there's a couple of interesting things um like uh, you you dropped one cartridge when loading which leads back to a discussion that comes up in every vid which is why don't you hold rounds between your fingers <laughs> and, <laughs> and here you are trying to load one <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to load one cartridge from the pouch. At the time. Still managed to <laughs> and, drop. I, and uh, and uh, I ended up uh, making a mess. Uh, so uh, let's see, imagine if uh, I had the cartridges in my finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and the the other interesting thing I find is that uh, one of the extraordinary things I find about the M seventy one is that they either decided not to put an an ejector in or it didn't cross their mind. I, I don't know enough about the development of the rifle to know whether they, they it, uh, it occurred since they were transferring from the Dizer, which was, doesn't need one, to- Yes, I think, uh, I think uh, it was uh, something like uh, when uh, the British adopted the SLR in the, in the 50s. <laughs> they were, they, they come from the Lee Enfield, so they say that, I think the, the semi-auto is uh, sufficient, <laughs> somewhere <laughs> like that. But uh, actually, I don't know, uh, honestly, because uh, yes, as you said, they, they came from the Dreiser, so, it was uh, already a big, uh, a big leap forward uh, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, technology, in terms of uh, uh, performance. So um, we, it, it's weird. It's, I, I, I confess, it's uh, very weird for us. It's, uh, it's awkward uh, not having an, an ejector uh, yeah. that uh, clear the act, automatically clear the action. Mm. But uh, I think that uh, it's uh, just uh, mm, it's just uh, uh, in terms of uh, speed of uh, of loading, uh, it's uh, easy to get accustomed to it. 
Uh, yeah. It's just a shoot, uh, open, cast about, uh, and then load another round. Yeah, I, uh, saw, I, I was impressed how smooth it was because just when you bring the rifle down and you go to reach for a cartridge, you just tilt. And it, it, uh, it's, some, it's something. It's something. It's something uh, that uh, came uh, in. Um, uh, it came. It came by itself. Mm -hmm. uh, the the casting about uh, of the rifle. It, yeah. it need just. Uh, it need just. Uh, it, it not not need to be turned uh, aside completely. Yeah. It's just uh, a, a a light a light cast. Yeah. Uh, well, there's, so... there's no. There's there's almost no ridge in the ejection window. It's not like the Snyder where you have a huge deep yes, pocket yes, which yes. you really it's need not, to. It's not like that. You read that. It's it's relatively shallow. Yeah. And uh, yes, uh, so, on the other side is the, is strange because uh, I, the Swiss rifle, uh, the, uh, this the 1868, correct, uh, that you showed in the video, yeah. or, uh, it, uh, it, it uh, already have an ejector. Mm -hmm. uh, the Italian Vetterli yeah. already have an ejector in 1870. Yeah. So I, I I don't know actually why the Germans uh, were so confident in uh, not including an ejector in their rifle. Yeah. Well, I suspect yeah. I suspect that the the Italian Vetterli has an ejector because the Swiss one does. Yeah. Which, yes. Yes. Which did because it was already a repeater, so it absolutely needs. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so again, I think that's probably a knock on. But yeah, why it didn't go around? I don't know. If if anyone out there knows more on the development of the M seventy one, please comment on this curious choice. Uh, Lighten in, up. <laughs> yeah, because if you look at the the Gra, which is just three years after, all they did was put a tiny screw in the receiver. And that was that was it. That's all there is. Yes. <laughs> so it's strange. Um, so it, how was, do you it think? was simple. It was simple after after all to to add an ejector. It's not that um, incredible technology behind it. No, I mean later, like uh, like um, like like on the uh, ninety one Carcano, we have you have the mobile ejector, so the the one the plunger, and also it doesn't need to be that complicated. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you think uh, the Prussian soldier would have? felt if you know one day he wakes he's play, he's using his uh Dreiser m62 and then next day he gets given this the 71 <laughs> they were they were blasted in space <laughs> <laughs> yeah because thinking think of the the let's say the the early the early adoption of the auftrags tactic of the prussians yes. And the fact that they were already used to operating in isolated units, perhaps uh, the need to fire fast would may happen more often because you're your small unit that may get surprised compared to the sort of massed formation. Well, I think that uh, the uh, this uh, capability, this firing capability, uh, this uh, quick firing capability of the M71 rifle uh, was, uh, I, I don't know if it uh, was uh, ever tested in battle, because uh, as mm -hmm. we know, the M71 uh, never saw a frontline service except uh, the uh, Jaeger version, the uh, light uh, infantry version. Uh, in the hand of the Ascari during the World War One, or yeah. uh, the infantry rifle. I think the the only exception uh, or the or the only use of the long rifle was uh, by the uh, Irish during the during the 1916 rebellion. Okay, uh, interesting. Yeah. I think uh, the, the the Easter Rising. Yes, the Easter mm -hmm. Rising. They used uh, they used a lot of Mauser 71 mm -hmm. in that time. And uh, but, uh, yeah. go on, sorry. Uh, I think that uh, about the tactics uh, of, of use, they were the same of the, um, they stayed the same of the dries, the mm -hmm. earlier dries. Mm, okay. I don't think the tactics uh, had changed very much. Yes, mm -hmm. it was a very, it, it was a, a, 
um, an improved uh, weapon, but I think that uh, wasn't uh, an, uh, an improvement uh, and uh, enough to change tactics completely. It was, yeah. it's, it was still, uh, it was still uh, a, a single shot rifle. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, tactics actually changed uh, um, after. Much later, uh, yeah. Yes. I was thinking of the the, bo the Boxer Rebellion. Would they have been 7184s in, Be in Beijing? Uh, the Boxer Rebellion. The Boxer Rebellion, uh, I think, uh, of uh, having ready, uh, having uh, rode something, but uh, I think the infantry of the, during the Boxer Rebellion already had uh, uh, 88 rifles. Okay. Maybe the navy. Maybe the navy still had uh, still mm -hmm. used the uh, seventeen eighty four rifles mm -hmm. because uh, we are speaking of uh, we are talking about uh, 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 around the turn of the century. If yeah. I'm not wrong, it was uh, uh, nineteen hundred. I'm looking uh, it up. Google, well, help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I don't that remember. history. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's say uh, let's say nineteen hundred. Yeah. Anyway, um, I thank you once again. Can't thank you enough for for uh, blowing ammunition away on my behalf <laughs> into uh, the Italian countryside. And um, yeah, I certainly look forward to you know, further things we can do. We still need to do some kind of, I don't know, Dreiser Chaspo match or something like this. Yes. <laughs> Someday I think that, when uh, we can... that is something that uh, everybody is, exp is expecting. <laughs> One day when we can move again. <laughs> yes. Yes, I hope very soon. All right. Cool. So how do we want to end this? I can, can just cut this. How do you want to end it? Do you want to end it like you did last time? Oh yes, uh, I can. I just wanted to say thank you for uh, this opportunity, and uh, it was a, a very. Uh, it was. Uh, uh, it, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, you can cut that shit out. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing that. <laughs> just and then, uh, as uh, as I said for the Carcano, uh, excuse uh, excuse me for my very basic uh, skill in english language well i couldn't have i couldn't have done this in I italian hope, so i hope uh, i hope you get uh, something <laughs> and then uh, and then uh, from cook is uh, i think that from cook and spam shooting is all and uh, thank you for watching thanks bye bye